Hey YouTube, welcome back. I sadly have to do this video. As you can see by the title, it is a, an update slash scammer video slash whatever. So it is Friday night. So it usually be the night for me to do other types of videos like a sale video or a trade video, but tonight I am not doing one. Um, I'm still too pissed off to do one. I'm gonna try to do one tomorrow for Sunday. So I guess maybe stay tuned for that. I don't know yet, but I am going to be doing this sale, this uh, scammer video today to kind of go over a few things and to change up my rules of how I'm going to be doing the um, trades and, and sales from uh, from now on. So uh, this happened this week for quite a while. And apparently my battery's running out, so we'll see how far I get. But um, it's been bugging me. Um, I tried to contact these three users, and it's just been a pain in the ass. Um, I was so pissed off that I didn't even want to make a video about it. I had to wait several days. This started on Tuesday, and I was so livid and pissed off by these three people um, that I pretty much, for a brief time, just wanted to just completely quit. And I, in fact, I had to talk to a, a friend of mine, Alex May, who uh, helped me write a pretty good rule for um, selling from now on and convinced me not to quit and convinced me to keep going and... Uh, I really do appreciate his help, but it just, you know, stuff like this really bugs me. And um, actually, I might have to, uh, if this video cuts out, I'll just keep going. I'm not going to bother trading because I don't want to, or cutting it and redoing the video. So if this video goes out, I'll just add another section and just cut them together on YouTube. But because I'm probably going to ramble for a while. But so where was I? Oh, yeah, being scammed. People, you know. And before I even get to the people who do it, I want to explain something to everyone real quick so that everyone kind of understands what I do, how I do things, and why I do things. Just so people can get on board and understand, you know, me and what I'm doing and what I'm trying to do for people. Um, so my purchases that I make through whatever source that I get things through, um, I do them for two reasons. The number one reason is for you guys, obviously, to give you guys good deals so you guys can start collecting stuff. I go out of my way 100% of the time to help out people. I know my prices may not always be 100% accurate to what eBay is, but let's be realistic. When you get a huge lot, you have to search through things. Sometimes it takes trial and error to get it to the right price, but eventually I usually do get it to the price. Whether it takes a week or two or not, I, re I usually figure it out. It's hard to go through a lot of stuff on my own. Um, being a one-man team and searching through thousands of cards and looking and finding stuff for people it gets tedious and i will go out of my way for people but you know i do my best and that is the ultimate reason why i buy and sell stuff the second reason which i really don't need to do anymore which i don't really care about if i need to quit i will but it is to make a little bit extra money on the side to actually purchase stuff and i'll explain stuff right now the stuff that I sell in my sale videos, I don't really make money off of. I make a little bit to buy new boxes, so the normal boxes that come out every so often, and then a few cards here and there, and I'm able to pick up for my own personal collection to keep things going and to keep you know people watching my videos. Because let's be honest, no one wants to always watch sale videos. But you know I have responsibilities now. I have a house. I have two cats. You know, a girlfriend. You know a job, I have other obligations that I have to deal with and that requires my paycheck which means I can't do what I used to do when I was in college and when I, you know, didn't have a mortgage and I didn't have, you know, all these other electrical bills and stuff. So I do apologize for that, and, you know, not being able to make the videos that I used to make where people watched it. You know, I'm down to only having three, four hundred people watch my dang videos which always sucks in my personal opinion. But you know what, I deal with it and I, it, life goes on. And to kind of prove to you guys um, that, you know, I'm not doing this to make substantial amounts of money. It doesn't make me a lot of money. Um, so when you guys back out and scam me and try to waste my time, it hurts not only me, but the rest of the community. Because I'm not able to reload my stuff. I'm not able to buy more stuff. I'm not able to find new stuff. I have to let a lot of things go. You tie up my funds in waiting for people to pay for stuff when I could have gotten it from someone else. And... I'll be perfectly honest with everyone with what I buy stuff for. And I'll show you guys right here how I keep track of stuff. Just for people to know. 
So I have Excel sheet. I have my received, my sale prices, you know, what's not received. So what's going to be coming in, my canvases. This is just kind of a tab just for shits and giggles to show you guys, you know, kind of what I have um, for my canvases. This is where I show quantity and what I have, just the regular tab. I won't go into those because there's still more secretive but you can kind of see you know my shipments I do things in shipments so um, you know if I get a bunch of stuff I'll wait for a while until I get a bunch of crap and I'll tally up how much I paid for everything and then I'll consider that you know a shipment you know get it to me whatever way whether it's through eBay or Craigslist or through other friends or through people selling their collections or just through normal finds um, and other places and you know you can see the cost i tally up the cost of what i've done for each shipment um, you can even see guys what i just spent on wild blaze and actually a lot of this was to help others a few other people um, and you can see what i paid for the jungle box the english collection which i tell in the actual video and some of the other stuff and then you can see kind of and i do apologize for this not focusing very properly let's do this ah just doesn't like me now apparently focus holy crap I guess maybe it just needs to be ah it is horrible I do apologize for this I wasn't expecting this to go all crazy on me all right anyways there we go you can kind of see what I pay for it and then I just you know as people pay me through PayPal and through you know cash I just add it and then when I do uh, shipping I subtract the shipping costs from this total you can kind of see you know right now where I am just to kind of see how much I've spent since I've started the sale video and how much I've gotten you can see the 8,000 right here so right now currently um, I would call myself a little bit under because of the wild blaze just spent another 840 bucks on Wild Blaze. But you can see here's a total from what I've gotten paid and what I've spent. So as you can see, I'm not really making a crazy amount of money. In fact, right now I'm in the red. Um, a lot of that is because of what we're going to be talking about. People backing out, people not paying, taking a long time for people to pay. Um, right now, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. And I don't want to slam anyone because I know there's a few people out there that you know are good friends of mine that are, I know will pay. Um, but I have around 1500 bucks worth of people that still have yet to pay. That doesn't even include the people who um, I'm going to be completely blasting this video. But when you add that up, I'm still around even um, and you know with the Wild Blaze. So I tinder on being even throughout the most of the most of my stuff. Um, obviously those sale prices that you saw on the left also include the boxes that I see, the X and Y boxes, the English boxes, um, the other stuff, the gold stars that I purchased for myself that you don't really see, or the core core muse that I get graded. Um, those are included in those prices, so I try to stay as even as possible with that. Um, so, you know, it's okay to go a little bit negative, obviously, because of, uh, you know, my own personal collection, but as you can see, I don't make a ton of money off of this i mean i rely on when people buy stuff and pay for things in order to restock and if i'm not getting the money back i can't actually go and pay for you know anything or buy any lots so and i know i'm rambling on and i apologize so but i wanted to just explain how i go about this thing so people can understand you know how much i spend on pokemon and how much i just resell to everyone um and so i had three users who just you know, the first one, just card fight bros, just never responded. And I'm not going to go in through looking through a million freaking emails to prove to you guys that I've sent a million messages to him. He has yet to respond to me at all um, after he um, bought stuff. And I'll show you his things right here. They're all right here. Um, this thing is actually filled with cards. Um, all these things will be put back on sale, obviously. But, you know, a ton of cards that, you know, people, other people probably might have wanted. Um, you never know. Um, got a lot of nice minty cards in here. I'm pretty sure this is a Neo Discovery set that I had. Um, and then some extra cards as well. But, you know, a lot of cards that I could have sold and gotten the money that I needed for. And he just doesn't care. <clears throat> so that was one of them. But 
Put that right there. Next up, cards and cods. I don't have his name right here. I'll show you his name right there. Yeah, I'll have to zoom in, I guess. Oops. Come on. This thing does not want to focus today. I think it's because I'm not like letting it focus. All right, buddy. Auto focus. Let me do that. Come on, you can do it. Okay, there you go. You can see it there. Perfect. So that's his username. 244 bucks worth of items. Um, completely lied to me. Said he would pay for it. You know, we went back and forth. You know, I kept trying to get a date down with him, but he never gave me a date. He said, oh, I just got a job and, you know, I'm going to pay for it. I promise. You know, I swear. And then I kept messaging him once a week to see, you know, and then he promised me, oh, I'd pay for it in two weeks. And, you know, he never did. And then, you know, granted, this guy had the guts to actually come to me and tell me, you know, oh, you know, I lied. Um, I, w I wasn't able to ship. I wasn't able to pay for it, you know, I thought I could, but, you know, I made a mistake. And, you know, I understand those types of things, but still, I'm a very reasonable person and I can, uh, tons of people can vouch for that. And I just, I don't like to deal with people who just lie to me. You know, if you come to me and tell, you know, right off the bat, and you know, you made a mistake, I'll get that. But to lie to me for months, I mean, this guy purchased stuff for me two months ago and, you know, it's just super annoying. The last person, a uh, hundred and... It's actually higher than that. It's 127 now. I actually remembered. But he also bought stuff for me. And, you know, he keeps promising to make down payments and stuff. And I don't know if this one's actually going to go through or not. But I'm just, I'm tired of it. You know, he said he was going to make a payment again this week. And then he didn't. Two days later, no response, nothing. So I'm just, I'm done with it. You know, if... hmm, I hear my cats outside. But anyways, I'll show you what each of them bought. This is cards and cards pile, and then this one is the other guy's pile. Right, bam, there. So just thick amounts of EXs, cards and cards. He bought all the EXs, like tons of just all of the EXs I could have sold to other people. Now they'll be able to be sold, but, you know, Venusaurs and Charizards, just tons of items I could have sold to other people. This one, he bought two sets. And then a bunch of extra cards as well. You'll all see them come back, obviously, in my sale video. And, you know, it's a bummer that this money could have gone to buying stuff. And, you know, it's just a lot of time wasted. I go out and pick out these cards for people, and they just waste my time. And it's super annoying. So I've decided to come up with a new type of um, idea. And I'm, it's probably going to bounce this camera once I do it. But I have a new rule for trading and selling the trading is pretty much normal you send i receive but the trading slash selling is going to be different the selling is going to be different i have new rules that i've developed um so we're going to go over those rules and this is going to be applying to everyone now anyone who's bought stuff for me in the past before today or this weekend your stuff we're good don't worry about it i'm not calling you out um, so please don't think of that you know I already have agreements with you. Those agreements are going to stay firm. But after this, after you've done your payments, and you know who you are out there who purchased stuff from me and you know are still trying to pay me, after this payment that you make, or if you don't, my rules will be these for everyone. It does not matter who you are out there. Um, I mean, this is it. I'm just, because Cards and Cods and Card Fight Bro, they've bought for me several times before. And, you know, clearly I can't, you know, I need to make my rules firm with everyone and I, I just need to stick to them and I can't be, you know, making rash decisions and, and, and not sticking to my guns. And, you know, I'm just ultimately just tired. So I made these rules. We'll review them together. Hopefully you can read them. If not, I'll put them in the description. So let's go over them. And I hope this thing will last. I keep seeing it blinking at me, but so it says, all items sold will be paid for within two weeks or by the next sale video. Not the, So what I mean by that is not the one that's the coming up one, but the one that's the next one. So two weeks. 
Um, that's final, no matter what. I'm not holding um, cards for over two weeks unless you can read farther down, unless you know you meet one of these criteria. So it says, if items trade, if items for trade or money have not arrived, items will be forfeited and time waster videos will be made with detailed information. Or, well, I read that wrong, sorry. So I'll just read it verbatim. Items will be forfeited in time waster slash scammer videos with detailed information will be created. I'll also post them to my Wix website. For cash purchases that exceed $50, tracking or some kind of proof of sending must be sent to me. So you can take a picture or a video of you you know, packing up the item or with my name and the address, or you can get tracking on it with $50 or more, period. That's what I'm going to be looking to do. Um, for items that exceed $100 that will take two weeks for a payment, a 10% deposit must be paid within this, the week of hold, which means I better have a payment within a week. Otherwise, by the next or by the upcoming sale video, your items will be back on for sale, period. I'm just, I'm done with it. Sorry about that. Um, obviously, my camera died, so I got a new battery. So we'll kind of re-review the one that I was going over. So for items that exceed $100, what I'm essentially saying is I need a 10% down payment within a week of purchase. And then I need full payment within two weeks. So essentially what I'm saying is you better pay me within a week or two weeks. I'm not holding like I used to. I need a cash deposit. And all hold payments must be sent by cash or PayPal gift and are non-refundable if buyer backs out or does not pay. I'm not gonna receive, you can't send to me with a normal um, invoice. I'm not gonna take that. This is to deter people from trying to scam me if they decide to back out at the end. This is to make payments non-refundable for people. So if you back out, I will keep the money. And what I'll end up doing with that hold money is I will be buying stuff and giving it away to other people. So I'll be probably be using it to pay Charizard Authority or some big other YouTuber or eBay. I'll buy stuff from them so that they can keep going on with their channels and I'll do giveaways with them. And I'll do joint giveaways like I did with Charizard Authority and other people, obviously. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with your non-refundable <clears throat> backouts. So keep that in mind. For items that may take at most three weeks, and now what I'm saying is I am not gonna hold stuff for people for more than three weeks, period. What I'm asking is that a 25% payment is required within the week of hold. Hold payments must be sent by cash, essentially the same thing I said before. If you are planning on holding something for three weeks with me, I need an immediate payment for that item. So an immediate payment of PayPal gift or a cash through the mail within the week. So that is it, period. So what I'm saying is I will no longer be holding items for people longer than three weeks. If you can't pay within two weeks or you can't put a down payment on the actual item, don't even bother messaging me, period. This is going to be for everything, every person out there. So keep that in mind. So my max, 25%, which keep in mind, to be honest, it really isn't worth it for people to do that. You might as well pay for the whole thing. But that is it. Three weeks is my max and you have to do 25%. So essentially what I'm saying for these two lines is if you buy something for me on Saturday or Sunday or even Monday or Tuesday, I must receive payment by Saturday, no later than Saturday of that week. And the reason that is is because I'll be putting your stuff up back up for sale, that sale video. So you can cash me. And I know people will say, what about internationals? Well, most people international don't send USD cash. Let's be realistic. For people that are within the United States, it shouldn't take more than three to four business days to arrive to me. So if you buy something on Monday, you should be able to send it on Tuesday and it should get to me by Saturday, Friday or Saturday. And because it will be you know, something that you're buying, you can easily get tracking or show me proof that you've sent it. If you show me proof, I will hold off on it for you because you're giving me evidence that you're sending and I know what some people are saying, well, what if they still back out? I mean, there's still opportunity. You know, I, I had this, you know, philosophical debate with Alex May for a little bit, probably an hour or two about it. And, you know, we were coming up with uh, these rules and, you know, we ultimately figured, you know, when it comes down to it, I'm never going to be able to get rid of 
um, time wasters and scammers. It is theoretical that someone could potentially show me a proof video and then not actually send it and just open up the package. Um, yeah, but what that does is it wastes their time and not really my time. By the next sale video, I'll be able to sell it again and I won't have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. So, you know, it's a deterrent. It's not always going to work, but it's going to help me avoid this situation where I have three people with hundreds of dollars worth of items not being paid for. And I also have potentially more that will be coming up in this week for items that have not been paid for. So people who haven't paid for, get on it. Please send me the payments. You know, I have other bills. I have other stuff that I'm wanting to buy for you guys, wanting to reshow. The only way I can get that is through, you know, being able to go through the churn, you know. You gotta get stuff in, gotta get it out, take the money in to get more stuff in for you guys. So these are the rules. They'll be in the descriptions of my sale videos. I'll probably even post them as a comment so people know. I'll make sure people are aware when I sell stuff to them. The first thing I'll ask them, I said, you are aware that these are the rules. You have to do this, period. If you can't do it and you can't put it on hold and you can't do a minimum down payment, just wait a week. There's always a chance the items will be there or potentially be a lower price. So just wait, it never hurts to wait. And the thing that I always tell people when they come to me to look for items or they wanna buy stuff that's super expensive, I always tell them, you know, I try to think, tell them, you know, sleep on it, wait for it, you know. The way I was able to get my collection going, my booster box and then now my card collection is by being patient. It does not, you can't create something overnight or over a week, it takes time. Ask any major YouTuber out there, Jordan Japan, Charizard Authority, Blastoise Rules, you know, all the big ones, Starcard Collector, um, any of them. It took time, money, and effort, and it's not gonna come overnight. I don't think I know any millionaire YouTuber out there right now that's doing Pokemon that can just drop of a hat, drop, you know, a million bucks, because those people aren't going to be on YouTube. They're not going to be wasting their time making videos or try to make a little bit of money here and there or, or whatnot. They're going to already have their list of stuff. They're not going to come to YouTube. So with that said, a little bit rant video. I do apologize, guys. I hate doing these videos, but I needed to get this out. I didn't want to do it on Tuesday when I was just furious, when I wanted to punch, you know, a hole through the wall, break my hand or whatever. So I waited a while, talked it out with a few people, came up with these rules, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, who knows? Um, I hate to do this, I really do, but it's the only way to avoid this crap anymore. I know people are gonna be backing out more, so they're not gonna be able to pay for it in a week or whatever. Probably won't get as many sales, but at least the sales that I'll get will, will be a little bit more worth it, or I'll be able to resell to the people who actually want it. So. Um, for the people who have already purchased stuff, like I said again, I'll say it again um, for the last time, don't worry, your stuff that we've already made agreements for, that stuff gets a bypass. I'm not going to go back in time and say, hey, I want your payment now. Um, you guys all get a pass. But from now on, starting this weekend, if I do make a sale video, depending on how I feel, this starts this weekend, period. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Probably not. But uh, had to be said, and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, Richie, you see this video and uh, we'll be able to fix it. But yep, peace out.